this video will be factorizing quadratics. Here we have a quadratic 3 alpha squared plus 19 alpha plus 6. So again we'll be using the guide number method. So the first step is to find the guide number. That's done by multiplying the alpha squared coefficient which is 3 by the constant which is 6. So it's 3 by 6 which is equal to 18. Next we mark out the factors of 18. So 1 and 18. We also have minus 1 by minus 18. 2 by 9. Similarly, minus 2 by minus 9. 3 by 6. And minus 3 by minus 6. So there are all the factors of the guide number 18. Our next step is to find a pair of factors that will add up to the middle number, the alpha coefficient, which in this case is 19. So if we analyze the factors here, we can see 1 and 18. When we add them together, we get 19, the alpha coefficient in this case. So we'll use that to rewrite our equation here, or our expression rather. So we've 3 alpha squared. Instead of plus 19 alpha, we'll break it up. So put plus 18 alpha, plus alpha, plus 6. So instead of 19 alpha, we have 18 alpha plus 1 alpha. Next, we'll factorize by grouping. So we mark off the pairs. So 3 alpha squared plus 18 alpha, that has a common factor of 3 alpha. And we're left with alpha plus 6 then. So as I said, 3 divides into both 3 and 18 evenly, and alpha divides into alpha squared and alpha evenly also. So 3 alpha is the common factor in the first pair. So we divide the common factor, 3 alpha, into both terms. In the next pair, we have alpha plus 6. So the only thing that divides into both is 1. So the, the only common term here is 1. So we'll just take 1 outside the bracket. So it's plus 1 by alpha plus 6. So if you divide the common term into alpha, alpha divided by 1 is still alpha. 6 divided by 1 is still alpha. Next we complete our division. So we have 3 alpha. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Alpha squared divided by alpha is just alpha. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Alpha divided by alpha is 1. So 6 times 1 is just 6. So at this point you can see we have a common factor of alpha plus 6. We have 3 alpha by alpha plus 6 and we have 1 by alpha plus 6. So we can rewrite that as 3 alpha plus 1 multiplied by alpha plus 6. And that's our expression factorized.